welcome to my FileZilla, FileZilla tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up a simple FTP server that enables the use of your multiple hard drive shares. You're going to want to create a group first. Name it whatever you like. You can see I have two groups already set up prior. We will call this the test group. Next, we'll have to set up a file share located on our local machine. Folded H next to the directory indicates it is the home or the root directory. Click OK. We will set up a user. We will call this test user and set it up to the test group. We will make sure it's enabled and give it a password. No folders or permissions need to be set since the group permissions will be linked to the user. However, if you were to add shared folders to the user, the user would take precedence over the group, since it is more specific. Next, we will log on to our router device to enable FTT, FTP port, port forwarding. If you are unsure of your router IP address, look up the model name or number of your router plus the default login information into your search engine. In my case, my router model is the Cisco DPC3810 Pro. After I log in, I want to look for port, port forwarding found under Application and Gaming on most routers. The ports we must enable are 20 and 21 using TCP protocol. We must link these ports to the private IP address of our local machine. We can find our IP address by opening up command prompt and typing in IP config, all one word. As you can see, my IP address is 192.168.0.32. We will save the settings on our router and test if our FTP server is working. Open up another command prompt and FTP to our IP address. Use your user account name and password to log in. Since FileZilla does not support multiple hard drives by default, we must set up aliases to each of the foreign shares. A foreign share will be anything that does not exist in the home directory. As you can see, we cannot change into the eMovies directory. set up a foreign share, you must right click, edit aliases, and enter in the home directory followed by a backslash, and then the name of the foreign share. So c colon backslash users backslash movies. We will do the same for TV shows. Give this whatever permissions you wish. OK. 
Okay. Log out and then log back in to the FTP server. see that the two shares you added are found. So we successfully changed the directory to our movies. As you can see, the alias of any space is in between the words, so we need to add double quotes around the full string. So I'll just show you a simple example of how to retrieve a file from the FTP server. get or get is the command to get the file. The file will be saved in the directory before we FTP it into the server. If you don't understand it, there are better FTP clients that will hold your hand more so than the command prompt. Anyways, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment.